30 minutes. Okay. All right, you ready? Yep. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a special guest today. This is Lira's Roxy. This is a big scene. This is her Instagram. <laughs> guys, follow her. She is my Instagram and YouTube idol, and she does amazing makeup. Can you tell me a little bit about what you do? Yeah, yes. so I am a professional makeup artist. I do also uh, special effect, you know, kind of makeup. And I'm now also doing fashion, so this is why we're here today. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna talk about fashion week. Yes, it's coming, it's coming up very soon, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. So February. are you going this time? I still hope that I am going because as you, as we talked earlier, mm -hmm. just so you know, kind of like fashion week is really everything is kind of like last minute, really. Yes, very last minute. So I always get my invitation like maybe one or two weeks before the events. Yeah, even when you're there, you can just get so many invites mm -hmm. while you're there and yes. just like find yourself really booked and busy out of mm -hmm. the sudden. There are like so. so many events, runway shows, different studios, and I have a lot of style launch, beauty launch, having like smaller events, uh -huh. and some after parties, you know, a lot of uh, things going on. Photography, yeah. everything going on. Yeah, a lot, of, really a lot of stuff going on, and campaigns as well. So, I mean, both of us are influencers, so we kind of understand a little bit more about what's going on from our side. So I attended maybe New York Fashion Week two seasons, with only two seasons. Uh -huh. Yeah, but LA Fashion Week and other like Tokyo, oh, it's very Shanghai, different. yeah, International different. Fashion Weeks a couple of times. But we, we want to focus on New York, yeah, this time. Um, I feel like it's, First of all, it's very last minute, it's very busy. And for me, going to Fashion Week is like nine to five, all work, all day, all week, that kind of or thing. Or more than, more than oh, nine more to than five. Or more than nine to five, <laughs> yeah. The first show is like, nine, like nine, nine to nine. nine. Yeah, that kind, of, that kind of thing. That kind of vibe, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. so like, I want to say the trend of attending Fashion Week <clears throat> is a, such a big thing for influencers now. Before, Designers, I have a couple of like fashion designer friends and their producers, they feel like they want more attention because all the attention oh, yeah. are on Bra Brand attention right now. is like, you media, know, money follows media. attention, so yeah. that's just what it is. And mm -hmm. of course, I mean, the influencers is their way Such of getting it, yeah. you know? Such a big scene now. Because, you know, everyone will have followers and then everyone, you know, doing Snapchat, doing Insta story, if Snapchat is a thing still. But doing Insta story is mm -hmm. mainly all of that, blogs, vlogs, all of these. So, of course, it's the more attention they get, it's, you know, the more eyes they have on their stuff and the most likely they will get some sort of publication, mm -hmm. which will lead to sales eventually or just like to a brand awareness, which is important to designers, especially if they're just like starting out or, you know, even if they're really big designers. I mean, yeah. fashion weeks to brands cost a lot of money to produce very a expensive. show. Very expensive. It's crazy expensive. I mean, so, like, they have to get it back somehow, so at least in like exposure type of vibe. So. Yes, used to be uh, media, now it's mostly social media, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Used to be buyers, I just guess. Buyers, yeah. a lot of buyers, and of journalists buyers. back Journalist, then. Yeah. But then today, obviously. All the front row girls are like people like us, you know, working full time on social media, doing stories, yeah. content, you know, that kind of stuff. It's like the new era of journalists kind mm -hmm. of thing. This is what the influencer really are, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think maybe we should focus more for the, for the coming season, focus more on the designers. Yes. You know, like a lot of attentions are like, who's there? Who are the celebrities? Who are the like, top girls of this show? So maybe, I guess this season, I'll be focusing more on, on like who the designer and What's the trend, fashion trend, and how can we take runway styles to the street? That's probably what I'm gonna do this season. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, one big question we got a lot of time is how to get invited. Okay. How did you get invited? So, first thing first, I, you know, I just wanna say I'm not a big influencer. I guess I can, I mean, I am a mi micro influencer or no. a macro. I don't know. No, no. no? I don't think you're. I personally believe if you are over 100k on Instagram and plus you have YouTube channel uh -huh. which is very very strong, check her out and then <laughs> so I think you are at least like medium high level, you okay. know. Mm -hmm. But just so you know, when I when I started getting invites, I was back then I was on 80k something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. That. 
Uh, so just so you know, I, and now nowadays I do really see a lot of people that even though they have 30k, 40k, they still get invited. So don't get discouraged. And even if you didn't get invited or don't get any invite, then feel free to literally approach some PR, you know, in New York, mm -hmm. the brands themselves. I can tell you right now that if you will try to pitch New York Fashion Week specifically, it might gonna be very hard for you because they're just like really booked and busy and they really barely, you know, even, you know, getting back to people who are in the high level of the millions of followers. Mm -hmm. And this is why most of those people and influencers are actually coming. When they do come, it's mostly with a brand, like a certain brand. Um, so just so you know that, so don't get discouraged, literally, try to do the job literally go out there be there if you want your name out there you need to be the chris jenner and the kim <laughs> kardashian all together in one person as a package if you're yeah. trying to get your name out there that's mm -hmm. how it is today i feel like the three main ways to get invites admission mm -hmm. like very first one like you mentioned um, get to know those PR, reach yes. out to brands, right? Very first of all, like PR. Like I know like a couple of PRs, they are doing like multiple brands, uh, handling their media requests. So make sure you, maybe you can Google it um, or you can find the previous uh, content, like the last season, the previous season, who's there, mm -hmm. who handled their PR request, of which are the brands that you're most interested in. You reach out to a brand, I wouldn't suggest you doing like DM, maybe just... Oh yeah, definitely yeah, not a DM, find, be more find. professional mm -hmm. about that, so I, I'm 100%. Yeah, for, for that, I don't recommend DM, but yeah. you maybe you can Google it. Some, some of them, they have their PR's information on website or some third party website. You can just find their information and- Especially if it's a big company, yeah, it's media, not a problem media, to get, yeah, their get their information. It's just not a problem. It's this is, public record pretty yeah, much. This is very big uh, way to get invited. And the second, oh, don't forget to submit your uh, media kit. Maybe. Yes, it's Look important. more professional, like what you can offer uh, to get to be there, right? Mm -hmm. And then, um, the second main uh, method you can get invitation, I think is probably by networking with influencers. I did get invitation from some of my girlfriends in New York mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, I have this show, the like, plus one, yeah. you can be my plus one or I can uh, connect you with the brand or the PR. Yes. Yeah, just that too. make sure you have the network and some, some, some girls are in, my friends are in, uh, we're in LA, but some of them they're in New York. Like a lot of people, you know, in this industry fly back and forth. Just for example, I have a couple friends, they will fly out there, like stay the whole time, like 10 days. So I always get information from these Always people. make connection, it's yes. important. Yes, yes. Wherever you really go, if you're important. an influencer, yeah. make sure you make connections. Like two of us, that's Re how. And by the way, by all <laughs> means, a real connection, not the cloud chasing type yeah. of thing, because those kind of things are just, just eventually it's get. That's right, always remember them. like what yeah. you can offer your people. Always, right? it's always. It's like win-win. Uh, all right, this is the second way. And the last, not super recommended, is just to purchase the tickets from New York Fashion Week. It's all online. You can right. get maybe one of the studio one day pass for a couple hundred. It's expensive, yeah, it's expensive. but if it's you very really pricey. like some designers you really want to see and experience the runway shows and I personally believe it was money. Yeah, you have to remember that influencer is a real job and to some people it's a real business. So obviously just like any other business, it's you like do have investment. to invest yeah. money in order for you to get some sort of results or profit or whatever that mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. It's it's what it is. Just like today, if you're gonna try to open a business, you're gonna have to invest, you know, bare minimum of a dollar. You know what I mean? But that's yeah, that's right. And but these are the shows that's on uh, New York New York Fashion Week yes. on their website. Yes. But there's like very tough tough shows they're doing their off-site exclusive For, like, events, which is not yes. yeah, which is I, I don't think it's available. Like, <laughs> I don't think there is like any tickets for sale or anything like that. You have to be on their roster. You have to have like very strong network. Oh yeah, like Bama, Chanel, yeah, yeah top, like these top shows. designers. Yeah, I don't think you can. You know, so we can start with the, those designers on the list. Some of them are really, really good. Like I got 
Alison Olivia. Yeah, yeah. Alison um, Olivia. Tommy Hilfiger. I wouldn't say they are very easy to get, but still you can try yeah. those brands. Yeah, yeah. Viral they West, actually just started to work Simone, with influencer yeah. Yeah. this previous fashion week yes, and Tommy yes. Hilfiger as well. Uh -huh. uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, Longchamp was Longchamp, a little yeah. bit, you know, it was a still, you had to have some certain type of following, but still, I mean, 100K and up could go. Um, yeah, so this type of brand. Some of those brands, they like people or actually like artists, like singers. Like and aesthetics, oh yes. yeah. Yeah, yeah, it people, really depends on your aesthetic. People, and people like that. And also, like, there's if you are a fashion influencer, fashion blogger like, like myself, I mean, we are kind of strong because we are relevant, super relevant. But remember, there's, there are a lot of people like you. Yeah. So maybe you should create something different. Always think what's the value you can yes. bring to a brand because that's what's important and mainly I would say the relationship because think about it this way a lot of people nowadays have a half a million followers mm -hmm. or a million or like even like 100k or 150 so the brand really looking for that long-term relationship especially if that's a big brand mm -hmm. they're not looking for you know have like a quick relationship that will be for one time and that is it and goodbye they don't have the time it's yeah it's really worth it about yeah that's right so why why did you go i know like it's very expensive to be there as we mentioned mm -hmm. so it's not free. going for fashion <laughs> is really expensive even you're a mega influencer you still have to pay your tickets you have to pay your accommodation yeah i know a, literally an influencer <laughs> that you have almost a million on youtube and almost 300k on instagram and she went to paris fashion week and she paid eight thousand dollars for her flights um for her Basically and assistant everything. yeah so eight thousand dollars is a lot of money but i mean obviously the reason she went there was to you know meet people meet brands um all this that kind of stuff so yeah. Networking. The main reason. The main is thing to you do in fashion week. Probably not gonna have any like pay, paid gigs to make it, you know. Right. It's mostly you spend that kind of money and get exposure and get network. So probably get out of something, you get out of, you know, not monetarily. It's just mostly about your investment and how you wanna you know to learn from the industry um, not just not just fashion for me it's like I can see because the runway show everything is all Instagram everything is all like a fashion weeks app so you can see their new design every season like as as fast as soon as right. it's it's done right so it's mostly not about that it's how I can be there and content and get exposure and you know, networking yeah all that yeah be for seen, sure. mostly for mostly sure. yeah 100 mm percent -hmm. you're always gonna have those uh you know uh fashion street photographer all this kind of stuff that yeah you do you like that they, they always sometimes in on sometimes the it's very sometimes it, it can be very it fun. can be weird because yeah. obviously they're looking for that certain per person that will walk out of the venue so yes. it can be weird but you know sometimes you have to fake it until you make it yeah, so got that i mean lot. if you want to for one quick second just like do a hair a hair flip who knows um yeah one thing that i do want to mention make sure you are nice and kind to people this is uh -huh. regardless of the amount of followers you have just um, be photo ready yeah <laughs> pretty much just be photo ready like uh it's outside of a spring studio i remember there's like there's like a uh, traffic light area there's like small little park where there's all those photographers hanging there waiting for like shows in between those shows like influencers ready. and they're yes. very ready yes they're very very ready even though it's february sometimes it's super freezing cold and people are still like so dedicated and people are sprinting <laughs> there yeah i had i had a couple of those moments i feel like at first i was very terrified i like i didn't know how to handle these photographers and i don't know like where my uh, pictures will be posted or how will they use those pictures i was very scared but um after a couple of times i feel like okay this is my chance to get exposure because some of them they will approach you saying like i like your outfit and what's your instagram handle you know like a lot of my fellow influencers they will uh, go home and actually connect with those photographers and get their pictures or to see like who's there you know what i mean yeah this is how i get my information i always see like maybe no, this is what you can this is why I yeah. say it's really important to be really 
kind and like you know be pleasant and nice because once those photographers will take your pictures <laughs> you can approach them and be like can I get your card so you can know yes. where this picture is picture. gonna be uh -huh. who took your picture you can tag them all this kind of stuff yeah don't yeah. forget that those photographers even though people think oh they work for free no they're not so <laughs> <laughs> so um again be kind because i can tell you this much right now there's a lot of pages on instagram that were taken down because they did not either tag the photographer and the photographer really got mad and so they report you, you yeah sometimes yeah. and for copyrights you get your page down Oh, that's very scary. So you have like three careful. strikes, you're out. So yeah, let's just be collaborative. Yes, <laughs> for sure. I'll give you credit for today's video. <laughs> One more I promise. Okay, alrighty. So this is a very big part of, uh, I mean, it's financial investment. You be ready to spend a lot of money, and then you probably, I, I think it worth it. But I'm not gonna be there like the entire week. I'll just pick whoever, like. Uh, which designers I like the most right. to be there and be ready. Obviously, if you're trying to be on a budget, you know, don't try to be bougie, don't try to go on business class when you can only afford economy, you know, on, on your flight. Uh, obviously, you know, hotels may not be the cheapest option, so definitely try to look for like Airbnb, Airbnb. maybe like a shared room. Or maybe you can share if you're Try like, to go with a friend, yeah. any of that, share so room. you can split. So even if you are on a budget, as here's what I believe, if something is really important for you, mm -hmm. I know that from myself, I will literally save every dime if to it's important there. for me to like <laughs> so that I know okay I have this I save this money to go there to put my name out there because this is my career this is what I want to do mm -hmm. all this kind of stuff you have to remember it's a lot of work would you like yeah. go to all those top fashion weeks let's say like most of us because we're in LA it's mm -hmm. pretty accessible for us to go to New York right. right I would love to go to Paris <laughs> honestly but then again I guess that just because of the fact that um, Paris is really hot couture fashion uh -huh. it's really different than New York as I said every fashion week is really different so for me I'm kind of like I, I personally don't kind of like feel ready to Paris just yet because I'm like can I go to Balmain maybe or like Chanel, maybe. you know? Who knows? Um, yeah. So this type of vibe, but I would love to go to Paris Fashion Week, 100%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's so many, honestly, there are, mm -hmm. as you said, on Hong Kong, there are so many. But Paris is definitely, is the mecca of fashion yes, week. Yes, I believe so. Definitely, I think Alice and Olivia, this uh, literally uh -huh. was, when, when was it? September? Yeah, mm -hmm. September. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> it's not um, a conventional runway, right? Is it No, runway? it wasn't conventional at all. Uh -huh. It was so stunning. Everything was pink, uh, floral, stunning, stunning. And then obviously, you do get to see all everything that's going to be trendy in six months from now. So you do mm -hmm. really see things ahead. And if you're already here, I'm gonna give you some tea on what you're going to see this coming up spring. So just so you know that, and this is something that specifically really caught my eyes because I'm just obsessed with this trend. Mm -hmm. So everything is pretty much is girdles, lace, everything. Basically, we're gonna literally wear lingerie to the street. <laughs> it's gonna be this part. It's trendy. Yeah. It's trendy too. All wear. those car corsets, everything <laughs> that really snatched your waist mm -hmm. makes it look really good, really feminine. But that's so. That's her. Well, it, it wasn't her style, but it just like her. it was like a really like big wide, trend. Wide, long, super long. It was like jeans. really. She had. I, I'm not gonna forget. She had like something Probably. on a mannequin, and it was like mm -hmm. um, a really nice pink dress. And I was like, oh my god, this dress <laughs> broke my heart. Um, so it was really stunning. I'm obsessed with everything pink. My only feet is pink, as you yeah, can probably I know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So. Definitely that, and obviously Tommy Hilfiger also had a really nice show where it, uh, they had like a, a car in the middle, and as you said, it was not a conventional type of mm -hmm. runway that you just walk it's trendy. and walk. Yeah. It's trendy to have like more like a pop-up experience right. these days instead of like just... With photo ops and... Yeah, yeah. models. Yeah, because they are serving the influencer thing, right? This is why I'm telling you, literally, it costs them so much money to brands. And I think people are like, oh yeah, they're already within the billions. So mm -hmm. yeah, right, that's right. But they also invest a lot of money mm -hmm. for this show. So obviously, this is why they bring influencers in nowadays, especially. So yeah, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. That's a nice story. I want to be there too. Because <laughs> sometimes at work, it's really hard to work on the schedule. For example, I have some bookings in LA and I can be there the whole week. Uh -huh. and I have to snug everything like oh, into. Yeah. In general, these, you know, Fashion days. Week is just like really, really busy. So mm -hmm. if you go there and this is your first time, just know that there is a certain chance that you're going to be invited to literally. 
four shows a day, maybe more, and everything's mm -hmm. gonna be back to back to back. Remember, it is New York, so you're gonna have to yeah, take a lot of transportation. Is ama like amazingly bad. I it remembered I stayed in Midtown and uh, I uh, just just maybe one or two three miles away from the studios, and it's like 45 minutes when everybody wants to get there. You know crazy so just want to be sure like your makeup ready your photo ready and then you you be early I wouldn't say because some, oh, someone yeah. will actually take my seat even though like the brand would offer me front row but if I'm late oh my god they the seat will go away right away like maybe five ten minutes before the show if you're not there okay you, you don't have a seat someone will actually take my seat where it is say Chris Han <laughs> it's so bad I yeah. would cry. <laughs> yeah, but you know, just one time, like, this is a super big mistake that I made. Just don't be late if you ha you are invited. Um, and also be make sure you charge your phone because a lot of times they have this. Whatever, or bring an extra battery with you. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like what? It's the ways, like, or even just if you're trying to Uber. It's a barcode, right? It's a QR code for you to scan in it. Because uh -huh. sometimes I'm not like iPhone ready. You know, my phone is, was not ready when I get there. Like, I have to figure out how to get to my get code the, to get yes. in. You know, you have to be ready. Um, when your taxi arrives, you have to follow your phone and follow your um, QR your code. Your invites, invite. everything. Yeah. You know, just you want to make sure you have a battery. Very yeah, important. Because everything is like back to back. So make sure you they have, have that. They have no patience for you. You know, you're not a celebrity there. You're not, you're not the only one. Yeah. yeah. Everybody is like, okay, they're they're so yeah. ready and they look so good. You feel like the pressure's on. So <laughs> <laughs> for the second time, it was smooth. I kind of. I went there ready, you know, it was it was easier for me because I before the show like when You kinda knew what to expect. Yeah, yeah, and also you can did uh, you can I did a little bit of networking there, like before the shows when everybody was seated and you can talk to like the, those front row people, you know. A lot of them they're either influencers, they're producers, they're like people in the industry, like fun people to meet. Mm -hmm. So just make sure you are you can do that really. Yeah, that's important. <laughs> so again, so that you can talk to people, yeah. You don't wanna be in the show, you saw the show, and you walk out from the show. Mm -hmm. No, no. <laughs> this is stay. not where you go to fashion week. Yeah, and some people they stay maybe for a couple more minutes to take pictures inside of the studio. Right. That's your photo moment, right? Like after the runway show, like all the influencers and all the media people, they go around to take Instagram pictures. You definitely want to make sure as well that when you do stories or even if you took a picture and you decided to post it on your Instagram, you want to make sure you really tag the brand or the give PR the and give them the credit just because this is how you develop a relationship nowadays. That's it right. really That's is right. like they see it even even if they didn't repost you or shared you or liked your picture or commented they saw, they saw your it. content so, so make sure you yeah. tag the right people yep. 100% <laughs> and also um, I think there is like a lot of beauty events going on. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I the mean, sponsors from the more. beauty mm -hmm. world. Uh, well, obviously the entire runway, the models. Mm -hmm. Mainly, you will see behind, backstage. You will see Mac Cosmetics, uh, Maybelline. Always yeah, doing Maybelline. something. Yeah. Always on fashion. Like, Maybelline always. was they bring in influencers from the beauty industry. Yeah. Always, always, always. Um, um, stop by and get grab some good yeah. things and try new things. Pat McGrath as well. Mm -hmm. So a lot of you know beauty brands. So also. If you are a beauty and fashion, then just know that you also can do a lot of network in the beauty industry. That's right. Because, I mean, it, it really goes hand in hand. This is why I kind of really took, even though I, I started all with beauty because I'm a professional makeup artist, I kind of transform into fashion as well because it really does go together. I mean, you will never see a model walk on a runway without her makeup. Yeah, it's just not going to happen. Um, and so, there are tons of media coverage about like the runway makeup. And the trends of makeup, trend, 100%. Like hairstyle, you oh, know, yeah. all that. Just make sure you capture some of those trends as well. Mm -hmm. um, beauty is a big part. And also, I I personally like um, Elle Magazine's Beauty Lounge. Um, it's a Fifth Avenue, like those luxury apartments. And it's, the experience was very intimate because only some of the influencers get invited. It's like a place where you can chat, you can um, take a break uh, between those shows. I think it's a smart idea to mm -hmm. go to some of like those events, uh, like beauty lounge, style lounge, or showrooms, to uh, make sure you, since you're there, like just for a couple of days, right? You just maximize your networking time to meet people. I mean, those events will be just pay attention to. 
some of those invites, they're like really quality time you can spend with media people. Yeah, yeah, I like those. Also, ones. also you want to make sure that you really come in ready to Fashion Week, meaning. You want to make sure that you have all your outfits before. Oh. You don't want to be like an hour before the show and be like, oh, what am I going to wear? Yeah, I'm going to iron my dress. You know, that's a bad idea. Yeah. So uh, first thing first, if you got invited, so here's, I'm just going to give them some tips mm -hmm. about of maybe, course. you know, how to yeah. get dressed or maybe even how to get dressed for free. So, and this is a really good tip, I promise you, because when I started, I had nobody to tell me that. So I'm giving you guys all the tea today. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so literally you want to take notes so the first thing and this is something that a lot of people don't know so basically when I transformed from beauty to fashion obviously my entire page was beauty mm -hmm. so fashion brands really didn't saw it and was like well you're more into beauty we can't give you clothes because we you don't know re relate you know maybe. so then I was like okay well obviously I cannot afford myself right now go and spend like ten thousand dollars on you know tons of clothes to shoot for Instagram it makes no sense so what I did was a pretty, literally, I'm like, well, you can, because imagine you're gonna go buy your, this really nice leather jacket, it looks really fancy, it's gonna be $400, so that the next day, you, that's it, you, you wore it once for a picture, and that is it. This is how fast fashion is today. Um, so basically, I contacted with some of my local showrooms here in LA. Now, just so you know, this is what stylists do, this is how stylists work. Obviously, just so you know, stylists in most times, if they're not a celebrity stylist, they don't necessarily have followings. So just so you guys know that. And this is how stylist works for, you know, production, any of that. And yeah, not all stylists are actually celebrity stylists. So just keep that in mind. So the only thing that really matters is how you pitch yourself really. And I can tell you, I went to so many, I actually went out of my way so many times, mm -hmm. contacted with so many showrooms here in LA, went there, grab all the items I want, shut them, you know, and then bring it back. So just keep in mind, but this is a really good idea if you, if you want to spend as little as possible as Uber, because that's <laughs> the only thing you got, or your gas money, because all you're gonna have to do is, you know, drive there, and then you pick anything yeah. you want, and you go out. And obviously, if you're gonna tell them, hey, I go to Fashion Week, yeah, that's big they know what's freedom. Fashion Week, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah. So they know you that most likely you thing. will get photographed in these you know, items. So for them, it's a really good thing. Media opportunity. Exactly. Yeah, so, like it. so which showrooms do you recommend? I, go, in LA? I go a lot here. Wow, there's a lot. Um, the, the one that I can think of that I work a lot with is CLD. They're really great. Um, I work with so many, honestly. J literally just Google it and you're gonna find a lot of them. I promise you. It's yeah, not of them It's not a secret, it's out there, it's on Google, pretty much. For this one, I would recommend maybe try DM and email, like both yeah. way, either way will we'll e work. E e try uh -huh. to email maybe, just because they have yeah, you departments. Submit, yeah, you can send yeah. your media kit right. from there. Right, that too. Yeah. Um, definitely try to ask from brands or unless if you are invited by a certain brand, then most likely they will you know they they will dress you for the yeah. event like i went to so many revolve events and they always dress you mm -hmm. in fashion week in miami swim week they always dress you for their events like 100 percent. revolve yeah. is an amazing amazing brand in my opinion <laughs> my opinion hands down. Uh, yeah I, I hope they they can um, have some roman shows Say it again? In New York, I mean, oh, yeah, if they yeah. can have some Roman shows. Well, they have like you activations. Will be there. In, they, they have activations, activations in Paris. Yeah. Uh, they had one. I wish I was oh, there. Oh, the big along, like Stunning. in front of the so Eiffel awesome. Tower. Yeah, I saw some pictures over there. Yeah, it's beautiful. I wish I was. <laughs> and I had this, this experience with a brand called Song Jun Wan. Mm -hmm. She's a Korean designer, and she dressed me and a couple other influencers, and they put them. Like for all the influencers wearing some new one together, and it's it's the media moment. Mm -hmm. Once you, I, I didn't know it's an option. Like you said, some of the designers they will be willing to dress some of the <clears throat> from real people. Right. But I didn't know because I was new. I was like, okay, let's let's do it because I, I need new clothes anyways, right? But I didn't know like it's the big thing for this show. You guys are when really they, getting all the tea yeah. today because when we they, didn't get this information you. when we started. Yeah, it's not just like because it's free because it's where all the media, all we'll these photographers, you. Uh -huh. yeah. It's an opportunity for the brand, just it is for you. This, this part of the row, not all the front row, just those girls who are wearing Sun Jin Wan 
close and picture together, that's the big thing for the brand. Right. So it, you really have to say yes if you got this offer. Otherwise, you approach the brand if you already have their QR code, you'll you get admitted, you, you know like you're a firm role or either not firm role, you can just try to say if you can offer a style and then you will get a lot more lead exposure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you can definitely really like always try, even if, uh, even if you got no from showrooms, you can always try to approach actual brands and uh -huh. be like, can I pull items from you? Pulling means that you're gonna, you know, they're gonna free rental. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. You're gonna much. send them. This is what I want. They're gonna send it to you, and you're gonna be responsible to send it back to send it back to them once you finish. Yeah, there's so. two ways you can work with showrooms. In my experience, you can reach out to local showroom. Like we're from LA, there's tons of mm -hmm. celebrity showrooms oh, yeah. or like a lot, a lot of fashion um, stylists that you can work with showrooms. Um, in your home country, home city, mm -hmm. and also like if we are going to New York, there are tons of over there. Oh wow! Yeah, this is yes. a fashion hub. There's tons of uh, showrooms there. They're open, and you can just pull some between the shows. You don't even have to like maybe one show you outfit one today, then outfit two, and between those shows you can just change the clothes over there. That's right. amazing. Mm -hmm. Amazingly good. Yeah. Yeah. Amazingly convenient for us to travel out of town for the fashion weeks. That's one thing you can do, but you have to like approach these people ahead of time because they will yeah, be like and super make an busy. appointment. Oh yeah. And, yeah. Of they're like, oh, we are out of capacity, and I mean, it's not that you're not good mm -hmm. enough. It's that people approach them before you. Right. Yeah. Right. You want to make sure you make an appointment. All that is very important. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Any other tips or um, I other? Think I think, <laughs> I think that it's just very important to keep in mind, you guys, and I know because me as an influencer, you know, and obviously I, I started from the bottom, from zero, from scratch, and I always looked up at those, you know, bigger blogger than me back then when I had like 40K, I looked at people with 100 and 150, and I said, oh my God, you know, they're there, they get the invite for free, oh my God, I will never go there. Don't be that, don't do that to, to yourself, don't compare mm -hmm. that, because I can guarantee you, unless you're someone within a tear of literally the millions, you're not going to any fashion week almost for free. No. Um, nobody will pay for your airplane ticket. This is something that I really, like a, a big misconception and I want you guys to keep that in mind. And really most people that go there as an influencer, it's mainly to develop their own personal brand. So as I mentioned, mm -hmm. they literally treat treat it as a business so in order for you to make money in your business you have to spend money you have to literally you have to yeah, make that kind of you investment. won't regret that yeah. will be a good investment but you can thrifty you know you can do thrifty right you don't have to spend a lot of oh like yeah 100 star luxury hotel which is like 800 a night uh -huh. don't do yeah. crazy things don't, like don't that don't go good to you <laughs> spend know smart i just saw like a video on a seventy-five thousand uh, dollar <laughs> hotel room in new york don't go there go, so, don't you know. go there like maybe <laughs> Just find a location where it's like convenient for you to commute to the studios and all those events. I mean, that's yeah. location is And pretty. always bring your personal style, you guys, uh -huh. because honestly, we're you're in part 20, of the show. You're, you're in 2020, <laughs> and I understand that most likely it's very hard to not copy others sometimes. Don't do that. I mean, be have your own personal style. Even if someone, you know, wore the exact same outfit, don't go to the exact same location to take the exact same picture. Don't do that. Just try Especially to be creative. Evolve events. That's something probably a lot of people should avoid. <laughs> this is really hard. Like as I said, I, I I'm obsessed with revolve. Really, I am. Uh, but again, it's just like. Hard because obviously a lot of people are kind of choosing the choosing same the items. Same styles, uh, and they'll be exactly, and then most <laughs> like and before. most of them are in LA. Uh -huh. um, so just try to be creative with your posts. Like I will, you know. I mean, yeah. Try try to do that because this is how you're gonna pick someone's eye on you. Do you know what I mean in terms of brand? Once the brands see the same, the same, the same, the same, you do you realize that eventually they will take the one that have you know, the bigger number, if they see all the same. But once they see someone who have a different style, they're really different, they will love that. And this is what they will approach to. So I think this is a major tip in influencer in general, not only in fashion week. Just be creative. So, yeah. Be yourself. Mm -hmm. Be creative. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Love that. Yes. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll put um, Lira's channel again. This is mine. Don't forget to subscribe <laughs> this channel if you like this video. It's down below. Yes. And turn on uh, the bell. <laughs> please. Thank you for today. Bye, guys. Bye.